In this tutorial, we will show you how to align data and display unique items from large lists in Excel. First of all, we will make use of the Alignment group, which can be found under the Home tab. Select the cells that contain the heading and press the Merge and Center button. The heading will appear in all the five cells. However, they will not be five cells anymore, but one cell as we have merged all of them together. Now if you want to change the orientation of your text, then select the cells. Click on the Orientation button and select the angle. In the video, we have shown you how it will appear if we choose the Angle Counterclockwise option. Click on the Format Cell Alignment option to open the Format Cells box. You can make your custom orientation by adjusting the degrees. We have changed it back to normal by selecting 0 degrees. If you want to increase or decrease the indent of your text, first select the orientation and then click on the Indent button to change it. You can make the text go up and down if you have selected the Vertical Text option by clicking on the Indent button. You can also choose the Top Align, Middle Align, and Bottom Align buttons to do it. If your data is being displayed horizontally, the indent buttons will make your text move rightwards or leftwards depending on which one you press. If you have imported text from somewhere and pasted it, then it will be pasted in one cell and stretched horizontally. You'd have to scroll rightwards to read it. After selecting two to three cells, click on the Fill button. From the drop-down menu, select the Justify button, and the text will appear in those cells which you have selected. Make sure that the cells below are empty so that the text does not overlap any other data. The next thing is displaying unique items from large lists in Excel. First of all, go to the Insert group and click on the Table option. When the Create Table box appears, click on the OK button. Then from the Insert tab, select Pivot Table from the drop-down menu. A new box will appear. Click on the OK button and the Pivot Table will be created in a new sheet. On the right-hand side of the screen will be our Pivot Table field list. If you want to sort your data according to the states and rate, then check both of them. You can add wages and other fields to it as well, or simply checkmark them one at a time to see the unique entries of any field.